from Johnny. It's time for pads. That's simple, isn't it? Yeah. Your neck should have no problem with them. Helps it kick the bucket with oxy. No, not like that. So in the early days of synthesis, pads were sounds that were literally used to pad out a sound. Things like a guitar or maybe a vocal. And in fact, back in the day, in the disco era, strings were used a lot, like actual musicians playing actual strings. Nowadays, everywhere in some kind of electronic music, going from pop all the way down to tropical goth, pads are used everywhere, especially and expertly used in atmospheric drum and bass, my favorite. So in today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make them. And I'm using Ableton here, but this is really a universal set of techniques that you can do to make your own kick-ass pads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a generalized recipe that you can follow along with to get you started with making pads. And once you have the recipe down, then you can start to explore. So you're gonna start with a sound. Now, it doesn't really matter what kind of sound that you use. I'm gonna choose the saw wave from a 303. And once you've got your basic sound, you're gonna to wanna to set up a volume envelope with a long attack and a long release. Now already, you can tell this already has the hallmarks of a pad sound. Now the next step is to fire up some chords, either on a piano roll or with some sort of MIDI plugin or both. The point is, is to get your DAW playing use of music so you don't have to keep hitting the key over and over and over. It doesn't really matter, major, minor, just mess around a little bit and get something down. Okay, it's starting to sound like something, but the next step is to put a chorus and a reverb out on the other side. Bam, basic pad. Now, to give it some more flavor. A filter with an envelope on it is... Perfect. And then maybe even add an LFO on top of that. It could be affecting the filter, it could be affecting the amplitude, maybe even affecting the pitch. Now from here, your future is wide open. Maybe you wanna double up your sound and detune it a little bit. That's good. Maybe mess with the stereo width. Hey, here we go. Now it's starting to really fill out. Now, now to add another layer to this excellent cake, what you can do is choose a completely different sound. And you add this one on top. Maybe you change your envelope parameters a little, little bit. Maybe give it a different filter even. If you're using a low pass filter on your primary pad sound, Give this one a band pass or a high pass or even something weirder if you can. Try some other effects that you have available on your synth or sampler of choice. Different envelopes, different LFOs. Hell, even put on some different effects and see what happens there. And there you go, Pad City. And this is really just the basics. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Are there any funky ways that you'd like to synthesize pads? Any funky tricks that you have? And until next time, Padding is fun.